Hey everybody, I wanted to uh, make a quick video to uh, show you some of the changes we made to our brand new 2020 Rockwood Mini Light. It's model 2205. We took it out on a shakedown cruise a week ago and came back with a list of things that we wanted to change and uh, make our own. So here's the video. Hopefully you like it. So it's Dave and Sherry, and we're going to give you an introduction to our new mini light. Uh, we bought it in January. It's a 2020-2205S. Looking forward to a lot of good camping. So bug screens are another thing that we wanted on the trailer. So we have the bug screen here on the um, hot water heater. And we also have a bug screen over here on this side on the uh, heater. Also have the bug screens on the refrigerator. Um, they're kind of easy to really easy to go in and they're a pretty standard fit. Hey, so one of the things that we wanted right out of the gate was to replace our door lock with an RV lock. Um, we have that in our other trailer. We really like it, really convenient. And for emergencies, it's uh, great. You can let somebody know what the combination is to get in your trailer. One of the things that we bought that didn't really work out for us was a screen protector. Um, we have one on our other camper, but it has the fold-out steps that normally come with the, um, you know, that come out from underneath the camper. Um, however, the mini light right here comes with, with the steps that fold up. As you can see, you know, they, they fold up like, they fold up like this, okay? And when you try to close the door with the screen protector on it, it won't close. So, no screen protector, we gotta come up with plan B. So I'm not gonna open the battery uh, compartment, but in the battery box, we did add the second battery since we do plan to do a bunch of off-gridding with this particular camper. How we elected to go without a um, dinette in the camper, and we elected to go with the recliners that have the heat and the massaging in them, lots of cup holders, there's four cup holders. They also come with these little trays. Um, they're pretty much useless. Uh, so we have a couple folding trays, TV trays, that we can set up in front of them to eat dinner and watch TV. Um, the viewing from this uh, camper for watching TV is really good too. Good er ergonomics in this camper for sure. So since the trailer comes equipped with the Wi-Fi Ranger in it, which is really awesome, um, we uh, decided to put a thermometer in there that was also Wi-Fi capable. Now this way we can set up an alarm for high temperature and also monitor the temperature of the RV when we're not in it. We leave the dogs in here sometimes, so uh, you know we want to be able to check on them and make sure that they're comfortable that the air conditioner is running and the heat is running all that kind of stuff so this works out really really well sticking with the theme of watching the dogs um, the other thing that we have also connected to our wi-fi ranger is a ring uh, the ring is motion sensitive so it can act as a security device when you're not in your camper and you're connected to wi-fi we could also anytime we want to take a look and make sure to see what the dogs are up to. So I have a short video here that I'll show you, but that's where we hung the ring and pretty much you can see everything inside the camper from that location. While we're looking at the control panel, I wanted to also show you that we definitely changed out the original thermostat that comes with it. Put in a digital thermostat definitely works a lot better than that old manual one. And you can see the keychain that uh, we have hanging there. That's where we're going to keep all of our keys as we walk in and out of the camper. Okay, where do you put the paper towel roll? Well, we, we decided to get a paper towel roll that was black. It matches the hood. And that's where uh, we wanted to put the paper towel holder. Through the years of camping, I found out that um, 
we actually, you can't get speakers that fit into these spaces that sound really good. So outside speakers, inside speakers, I don't swap them out. What I do is I just go to Bose and buy a speaker that I can take everywhere and have great sound comes out of that. You can use it inside the camper, outside the camper, or take it wherever you want. So that was our choice for upgrading the uh, speakers in the camper. All right, initially we had this hat rack or rack for hanging clothes or towels or whatever on that was hanging inside the bathroom we decided to move it outside the bathroom because there's not much room to maneuver in there and more stuff hanging on the uh, door made it even tougher so we moved it on the outside and that's going to be for hanging coats and hats and whatever else like whips we come in out outside from out the door and it's very close to the door so good to go not much room in the bathroom, obviously, to sit there and do your business. So um, where do you put the toilet roll? Where's the toilet roll uh, that you're going to store? So I just wanted to let you know that we stored the toilet roll right there on the door. Um, I modified this shelf so that it fits in there good. I cut it and then put a, another bracket on it. It's right here. But that's uh, under the water. But that works out really well. It's out of the way. And you don't have to um, hang anything on the wall. Okay, inside the bathroom, hooks, as many hooks as you can get, hang towels, things like that. Um, we hung them high because, like I said, there's not much room to maneuver in this bathroom. So we've got hooks hanging everywhere. There's some hooks inside the shower as well. And um, we ordered some more wet hooks that, you know, they make hooks specifically for that. But there's some hooks that suction cup, and we're going to put a couple more hooks up here just to hang towels and stuff like that. All right. Space is limited for trash cans and things like that. Uh, my wife found a small slim trash can that will fit right in here, right, right next to the toilet. So that's where we store our trash can for the bathroom. Uh, not a lot of spices yet, but uh, we decided to put a spice rack inside the door and it actually closes inside. We have enough room for to put 10 different types of McCormick type spices up there. So spice racks were another thing that we added just to help out with the space. All right, so two things I wanted to point out here. First one is this stool here. Um, it's a little folding stool that we use when we put the slide in and then put the brace that comes with the uh, camper to hold the slide in. That way you can stand up and look over the top and put it in the right location. And again, another small trash can. Just like I said, space is limited, so we try to keep it outside. So this is our tow vehicle. It's a 2013 Ford F-250. Uh, we use that to tow the fifth wheeler and it has no problem whatsoever towing the mini light. So this is the camper that we've been used to. It's a uh, 34 foot Crusader fifth wheel with three slide outs. And um, so we're adjusting to the smaller camper. And for now, we're just going to keep them both and uh, go back and forth. But mainly we bought the little camper the mini light for our trip out west next year so that's the review of our mini light hopefully this is helpful for some of you and shows you what upgrades you can do and the things that we liked that's all for now and hopefully we'll see you down the road somewhere